As Russia's war in Ukraine enters its 500th day, President Volodymyr Zelensky makes a symbolic visit to Snake Island and holds talks with ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made a symbolic visit to Snake Island in the Black Sea on Saturday as Russia's war in Ukraine reached its 500th day. Moscow captured Snake Island shortly after launching its invasion on the 24th of February 2022 and Ukrainian forces retook it in June last year. According to a new United Nations report published on Friday, more than 9,000 Ukrainian civilians, including over 500 children, have lost their lives since the invasion began. However, the report warned that the actual number of deaths may be much higher due to underreporting and limited access to some areas. Zelensky thanked ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew of the Eastern Orthodox Church for his support during a meeting in Istanbul on Saturday, where they discussed a peace formula for the situation in Ukraine. Washington has defended its decision to send cluster munitions to Ukraine, following heavy criticism from the United Nations, human rights groups and European politicians. The Ukrainian government has offered us assurances in writing on the responsible use of DPICMs, including that they will not use the rounds in civilian populated urban environments and that they will record where they use these rounds, which will simplify later demining efforts. Over 100 UN member states, including the UK, France and Germany, have outlawed the use of cluster bombs. However, the US and Ukraine have not. The Secretary General supports uh, the convention on cluster munitions, which, as you know, was adopted uh, 15 years ago. And, uh, and he wants uh, countries to abide by the terms of that convention. In August 2022, the Cluster Munition Monitor, which brings together a number of specialist NGOs, noted that Ukraine was the only theater where cluster munitions were being used. The Dutch government, led by Prime Minister Mark Rutte, resigned on Friday after failing to secure a deal within the four-party coalition over measures to curb migration. It is geen geheim that the coalitie partners heel verschillend denken over het migratiebeleid. En vandaag moeten we helaas de conclusie trekken dat die verschillen onoverbrugbaar zijn. The coalition has been divided from the day it was sworn in, with the centrists opposed to a strict crackdown on migration and conservatives, led by Rutte, wanting tougher measures. Migratie, maar ook als financiën. We zijn niet met de zuinige, we worden niet met de zuinige landen. Dat het volgende kabinet ongeacht de politieke kleur tot meer data is gekomen. Dat is mijn wens. The coalition collapse means the Netherlands will face a general election later this year. Rutte and his government will remain in office in their caretaker capacity. A solemn march through the woods of Srebrenica. Almost 4,000 walked through the Bosnian woodland to mark the 1995 Srebrenica massacre. On the 11th of July of that year, more than 8,000 Bosniak males were chased through the forest and killed by Serbian troops. Pa na ovaj marš mira idem radi toga zato što sve slike imam u očima i da bi se prisjetio bar svog brata i svojih prijatelja, ratnih drugova na tom mjestu koji su ostali. Osjećaj emocije jer pomješaju se te nekakve i osjećaj i pogotovo kad dođete ovdje na ovo mjesto. Kad znate kakve su 95. ovdje na ovom mjestu ležali ljudi, a kakva je situacija danas. The annual 100-kilometer march comes as ethnic tensions in Bosnia persist, with Bosnian Serbs continuing to push for more independence from the government and open calls for separation. The Eurovision Song Contest is once again returning to the Swedish city of Malmö for its 68th edition next year. Sweden's third largest city, which also hosted the event in 1992 and 2012, was picked in what organizers called a strong bid process, examining venues, accommodations for visitors, infrastructure and other factors. In May, Sweden won its seventh Eurovision title with the power ballad tech. <laughs> 